Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So I decided that maybe this could be my trend and I'm going to run out eventually but I think for my OMG Tuesdays I want to do wear tests of different brands of matte lipsticks or glossy lipsticks or whatever just ones that claim to have a really really long wear time. So we are going to do that today. <laughs> I am behind, so I'm sorry, but your wear test won't be as long as last time. It is 2 in the afternoon. I'm going to try to keep this on till midnight to give you a good 10 hours to see what it can do. Um, I told you in a previous video, I was going to test these Bella Pierre Slay Kiss Proof Slay Transfer Proof Lip Collection Liquid Lipsticks. So that's what I'm going to do today. I have three colors. I have a red and a more nude. But then I have this middle of the road kind of color here. And that is what I want to try out today because I think it'll match with my makeup and my outfit and just look really good. Now, unlike the last couple that I've tested, um, this is a three stepper. So you have to start out with your lip liner, then your color, then your gloss. I assume the gloss you will have to reapply. Hmm. Yeah, the gloss I think you do have to reapply throughout the day. <clears throat> but we are just going to go ahead and dive in and try this out and see how long we can make it stay. So these are super affordable. They're regular $8. I got mine on sale for 6 so 25% off. But they're very affordable and they claim to stay all day. So for this middle of the road color, ooh, this is the lip liner we've got. It's kind of a brownish one. It feels really hard, but we're gonna go ahead and line the lips with this. Okay, so, <clears throat> absolutely hate lining my lips my lips are crooked but this does allow me to draw them on a little closer to the shape I need so maybe that'll make applying this color easier so we're gonna go ahead uh, there's not this is muddy rose and we're gonna go ahead and apply this on the unicarton it looks like it's going to be much darker than it does in the package so we'll see since I'm pale it may come out darker which is what I'm hoping for here is our doe foot applicator pretty standard nothing too fancy so let's go ahead and apply this Okay, so that color is applied and it is, first off, coming off all over my teeth, but it is not at all the color that's on here. I mean, maybe it is. I feel like this looks a lot darker, like and this has more of a brownie tint to it, which is kind of what I was going for today. It's still a super pretty color. It's definitely a color I could see myself reaching for. Pretty often I do like these kind of mauve nude shades. It's not bad at all. Um, but let me see. Like the only thing I see on here that is absolutely ridiculous is it's not giving me like a solid set of here's how you apply everything. So I'm not sure how long I'm supposed to wait to apply the lip finish. Hmm. Okay, so I guess I wait until this is dry, and then I apply the lip finish, which basically to me just looks like a gloss. Um, these two steps here put me in mind of lip scents because with them, you take your color, you take your gloss, and 
if it's kind of like them, lip scents last all day and it's hella expensive. Like, I have some that I've won in giveaways and stuff, but ain't nobody trying to pay $25 for one color and that stuff burns like crazy. I mean, if I have a day, like I have the blue red and it is beautiful. If I have a day that I need a red and I know there is no way in hell it can budge that day and I'm going to be doing all kinds of crazy stuff like 4th of July. I wore my blue red because I wanted red lipstick because patriotism and I knew that wasn't going to budge even though I was having barbecue and stuff. But on a regular day, because mm -mm, that stuff's impossible to get off and I will see when we do our last check-in I'll also show y'all how hard this is to actually get off of the lips hopefully not too bad um, I hate when it's impossible to get a lipstick off like if I can't get you off with oil remover or a makeup wipe we're gonna have some issues because that's terrible for your lips in the first place but I think we are dried down basically yeah no transfer from what I can see. So we're gonna go ahead and take this Kiss Proof Lip Finish and just apply it over the color. Okay, so that is strange. I'm gonna eat my words here. Okay, so this is not, it doesn't feel like a gloss. It's not sticky. It more felt like a little bit oily, but not bad. It's not making this super shiny. I think when it dries, I actually might still have a matte finish. And, you know, I had it all up over this lipstick. That is all that got on the applicator. Like, it didn't pull much color with it. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm really confused on how this process is going to work. But we are going to find out. Maybe these will be some good little products that you can pick up at TJ Maxx or wherever they have Bella Pierre. I just got mine on sale at TJ Maxx, so they may not actually be available. I should probably check that before I put this video up. But uh, yeah, we are going to see how this works. Um, I don't, let me see. We'll try a little, a little kiss test and see if it comes off on my hand okay so all that really came off was that little bit of oil from the kiss proof stuff it's definitely a good indicator i actually didn't expect this to work even at the beginning so hopefully this is a good product um i'm going to film a couple more videos for y'all today so if i'm wearing the same clothes for a while I promise I filmed it all on the same day. I don't just wear the same thing every day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to film some more, go out, do some things, hopefully eat because it's like 2.15 and I still have not eaten today and I'm so hungry. So um, yeah, I'm going to go out, got to go to Walmart, get some lunch. Really nothing else I'm boring. You're probably going to watch me watch Netflix later. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. So yeah, we're going to go about our day. Try not to be too careful and see how this lasts. So I will see y'all in a little bit. Bye, you guys. Hey, guys. Okay, so we are about an hour in, maybe. It's like, well, we're an hour and a half. It's like 3.30. Um, I haven't done much, but I did drink something, like, with a straw. But we're still going pretty strong. And this eye makeup though, I am living for it. And I just got new sunglasses. <laughs> Cause I lost the pair I got in Arizona the day after I got back. But uh, yeah, so here's your first check-in. I'm about to eat some lunch and I will check in after that. And when I get done with dinner, I will check in after that too, if I eat dinner today. So yeah, and then we'll check in probably around midnight cause I'm gonna stay up late for you guys. Just so that we can get a little bit extra in this check-in and be sure we get a good 10 hours of wear time so yeah i will be back in just a little bit hey guys okay so another check-in it is like 9 p.m i think i had some wendy's for lunch and italian for dinner and 
the lipstick is holding up okay uh, it's a little patchy I saw it come off like on my burger earlier and like on my napkin when I was like wiping my mouth and stuff but it's not bad um, it's just not the best either it's not completely stay proof but we are gonna give it god like another three hours I guess and I'll do a final check-in and see how it looks in the lighting and see how hard it is to take off because that's another thing that's like super important to me so yeah we've got one more check-in to go and we will see where we are at but as of right now it's not bad it's just not like completely budge proof so that is a false claim but yeah we're gonna see so uh i'll see y'all in a minute <laughs> okay you guys so uh i stayed up all night so that i could get a, a solid 10 hour wear test and now my eyes hurt <laughs> but that's okay Let's angle this better that's all right um so here we go let me show y'all what time it is it is 12 21 that is after midnight i finished this i don't know i showed y'all earlier probably at like two o'clock in the afternoon i think so, here is what I have for y'all so far. Okay, so, by the end of the day, it transfers a tiny bit, which I think that's mostly the lip liner. I didn't reapply this, the Kiss Proof Seal lip finish thing. I didn't reapply that at all. So this is just off of what I did earlier this afternoon and nothing else. So basically how I'm feeling is it performed a lot better than I expected. Um, it's not like it didn't come all the way off earlier. I decided to give it like a good solid test. So like I had a burger earlier and it came off a little bit and like when I wiped my mouth it came off. I told y'all that. Um, and then I had Italian food and it came off a little bit. I had like fettuccine and it came off some when I ate that too. Um, but otherwise like it wasn't too bad. I mean it wasn't like budge proof and like in here has come off pretty heavily and it seems like around the edges where it was over the lip liner that's faded as well. And like through here it's like started to feather out. And I'll zoom y'all in so you can see that better. Like right here, it's feathered. And in the corners, it's faded. And like my Cupid's bow seems to have kind of... What's the word? I don't know. I guess it's kind of faded too. Like right here, it's not as crisp as it was. And the color is definitely lighter. But here is the problem. Since this was a more nude color... Um, I can't really tell you how much the color faded because the color wasn't really, really dark to begin with, but it's definitely a lot lighter now. So what I will say is that if, you know, you're in TJ Maxx and you see these and you want to pick them up, they're not bad and they're not expensive, especially if you get them at TJ Maxx, they're like $6 and they're not a bad little thing to pick up. However, I don't like having three steps and I feel like... The lip liner isn't really that necessary like I'm so used to Crate Fines lipsticks that I don't like I don't wear lip liners with those so I don't feel like I need this step ever and if I do that kind of discourages me and I mean the color was pretty the applicator was all right I had to dip it in a few times because it didn't pick up a whole lot of product on the first go but that's not a big deal um overall I mean these get my approval they're definitely good products you know they they work um, I don't know they'd be my first choice, but they are affordable, and if you do see them, you know, already just chilling in the store and you really like the color, I would say they're worth picking up if you're okay with having three steps to do. Um, I mean, unlike Lip Sense, you know, they didn't burn at all, they didn't bother me, nothing like that, but, I mean, like I said, they're not going to be my absolute go-to. 
just not but they're not bad but we have our final test is to see how hard it is to get these off so I'm gonna go grab a makeup wipe because I'm unprepared and I don't have them right here like I should <clears throat> So I am just going to go grab a makeup wipe and we're going to see how hard it is to get this off. Okay, so the wipes I use are like the Walmart brand. Of, they're kind of like the Neutrogena makeup wipes. They're just the cheap version. Because, you know, whew, I turned yellow. What? Okay. <clears throat> they're just the cheap version because, you know, I be broke sometimes and if I can spend less on makeup wipes that still work just as good I'm all the way down for that and these work I mean they're honestly my favorite kind they work just as good as the brand name ones in my opinion I still have my Burt's Bees ones to try out but I mean these work fine so we're just gonna see if they'll come off real easy with this And that is a definite yes that was super easy to take off just needed a wipe so that is definitely a good sign and something I really like in a lipstick like I want my lipstick to stay all day but when I'm ready to take it off I want to be able to take it off without a lot of hassle so um, I guess overall this is definitely a good product works well I mean, yeah, there are better alternatives, but if you see these and you're wondering should you pick them up and try them out, go for it. I have no major complaints. They are not 100% transfer proof. It's the only major thing I have, but in all honesty, it is so rare. Like, Crate Finds is probably the only matte lipstick I found besides Lip Sense, which hurts so bad and is super expensive. It's the only affordable lipstick I found that is completely transfer proof. But these are definitely pretty good. I would say go ahead and grab them if you see a few in TJ Maxx since they're on sale there anyways and they're already super affordable. So yes, that is it for today's video. I'm about to lay my happy butt down and get this makeup off before I do that because my eyes are hurting. These lashes are killing me today. So that is it. I'm going to bed and I will see you guys in a couple of days. Bye.